We bring you the latest updates from the PNA newsroom. The National Economic and Development Authority says the government remains committed to create more productive and higher quality jobs amid the movements in the country's unemployment rate. The Philippine Statistics Authority reported that the country's unemployment rate fell to 4.8% in January 2023, down from 6.4% during the previous year. NEDA Secretary Arsenio Balisacan said the latest numbers show the labor market's recovery and growth from the surge of COVID-19 Omicron cases in January last year. Balisacan, however, noted that employment created year-on-year -year was mostly part-time and vulnerable. This was shown by the jump in the unemployment rate from 4.3% in December last year following a decrease in the number of seasonal jobs. Balisacan said the government must prioritize labor market policies and programs that directly contribute to labor productivity and creation of quality jobs. The Department of Information and Communications Technology is considering to extend the deadline for mobile subscribers to register their SIM cards. Under the SIM Card Registration Act, mobile users must register their SIMs within 180 days or until April 26 this year. The ACD under Secretary Anna May Lamentillo, however, said only around 41.4 million or 25% of over 168.9 million subscribers have so far registered their SIM cards. The material said the DACD has the prerogative to extend the SIM registration process for another 120 days. Aside from mandating the registration of SIMs, the law requires SIM users to report changes in their registration details and instances of stolen SIMs. It also orders all public telecom entities to establish their own registration platforms and require registrants to show valid identification documents with a photo. They are also required to deactivate SIM cards used for scams. Justice Secretary Jesus Crispin Remulia assured that the government will protect the families of potential witnesses in the death of Negros Oriental Governor Roel de Gamo. Remulia had earlier met with President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. and other relevant agencies to coordinate the handling of the case. Remulia said that the witness protection program is not only for those who will testify but also for the assistance and protection of their families. Remulia gave this assurance after the four suspects, former soldiers Joric Labrador, Joven Javier Benjo Rodriguez and Osmundo Rivero expressed willingness to cooperate with the probe. He also revealed that the Gama survived the first round of attack and requested help via radio on a frequency monitored by the group. The suspects allegedly returned to once again to shoot the well-known official. Following the first reported case of African swine fever or ASF in Gargar City, the provincial government of Negros Oriental has imposed a total ban on pigs, pork, and byproducts from the neighboring Cebu province. Provincial Veterinary Office Chief Operations Officer Ophelia Felicilda said the total ban will be in effect for the next 45 days following the order last March 3. She added the late Governor Ruel de Gamo signed and issued the executive order even before the news of the ASF cases in Corcor City as a bid to prevent the animal disease from affecting the swine industry in Negros Oriental. Cebu Province has also banned the entry of pigs and pork-related byproducts from Negros Island after ASF cases were detected in Corcor. Felicilda said an emergency meeting of government agencies and stakeholders will be held tomorrow to discuss the impact of the ban on swine businesses in the province. That's the latest and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. For more news content, visit our webpage or head on to the Philippine News Agency's Facebook and Twitter accounts. We're also shown on the Facebook page of the Presidential Communications Office. I'm Stephanie Savellano, which tells stories that inspire change.